The Iran claims it has produced and begun deploying a laser weapon capable of countering aerial threats, including enemy drones. The laser cannon can reportedly shoot down aerial targets using powerful laser beams and is being utilized to protect sensitive regions. The Islamic Republic news agency, Erna, said that the weapon system is one of the country's most important military achievements. Two decades ago, an Iranian electronics company announced that it had acquired the necessary know-how to develop laser weapons. It even claimed that its laser weapons could neutralize radar-evading composite drones. High speed is one of the advantages of using such systems. As long as energy exists, shooting continues, Erna explained. Due to its complication and high technology, just a few countries like Iran could enter the area of laser weapons. A potential addition to arsenal. If the reports are to be believed, the weapon would be a major addition to the country's military arsenal. Last year, the Iranian Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, announced that it had acquired indigenous weapons and equipment such as precision-guided missiles and long-range combat and reconnaissance drones. It also introduced upgraded anti-tank missile systems and combat helicopters equipped with Iranian-made Keem-114 missiles. Also unveiled two underground military bases housing high-powered missiles and unmanned aerial systems earlier this year. The Iranian Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, has acquired new domestically manufactured weapons and equipment, the service claimed on its official website. During a ceremony on Wednesday, the IRGC displayed its new precision-guided missiles and various long-range combat and reconnaissance drones. It also unveiled upgraded anti-tank missiles capable of destroying stationary and moving targets within a range of 10 kilometers using thermal and laser detectors. The IRGC has also added several combat helicopters equipped with Iranian-made Keem-114 missiles to its arsenal. The service has also received high-powered bombs and various types of artillery. Addressing the arrival of strategic weapons and modern defense equipment, Deputy IRGC Ground Force Commander for Coordination, Gen. Ali Akbar Perjamshidian said that the service can now independently conduct operations at the tactical, strategic, air, naval, cyber, and electronic levels. Commander-in-Chief of the IRGC, Major Gen. Hossein Salami, also commended his country's domestic development of modern military technology for use by its ground forces, which he described as the backbone of Iran's defense system. Unchangeable Strategy in a speech during Wednesday's event, Salami issued a warning against his country's enemies, saying Iran is ready to thwart their plots and defeat them at the origin of their threats. He also said that Iran has been exposed to the policies of big and small villains for many decades, so acquiring modern equipment is necessary to bolster the country's defense. During this time, that we gained political independence and dignity, the strategic planners of insecurity, from the aggressive US to its European allies and regional partners and local terrorists, are all constantly plotting against the Iranian nation whenever they can," he stated. The defeat of the enemy at the origin is our unchangeable strategy," Salami emphasized. Last month, Salami hinted at Iran's growing defense capabilities after revealing that the country can now produce drones that can fly thousands of kilometers. We have decided to be one of the best in the world in every field, he said. Seeking to become major arms exporter. IRGC Air Force Commander General Amir Ali Hajizada said that the creation of underground facilities for drones and missiles shows Iran's commitment to have a powerful military force. He revealed that the bases have increased Iran's firepower six to seven times, while preparation time has been greatly reduced. With the round-the-clock efforts of the staff and the effective support of the officials, we were able to make this move," Hajizada noted. This latest development in Iran is seen as a part of its goal to become one of the world's biggest exporters of military equipment, with Chief of General Staff Mohammad Bagheri touting the capabilities of its precision-guided missiles and drones. We don't need anybody, Bagheri said. We determine our strategy, policy, and doctrine. Except for the three main superpowers in the world, no country can do this, not even the Europeans. 
IRGC Commander-in-Chief Major General Hossein Salami explained that it is important to develop and store powerful missiles, drones, and other cutting-edge military aircraft to address potential threats. While he believes that Iran's power lies in its determination, he expressed his gratitude that the country has enough weapons and indigenous knowledge. Thank you.